final 12 minutes when they started making threes. Right. You know, the defense, we really want to say it got a little sloppy towards the end. They hit a lot of shots, hit a lot of tough shots. They had a couple of possessions where the shot clock probably went down and we held them. It seemed like we were going to get a stop, and then they ended up making the shot. So really just got to buckle down, lock back in on the defense end. Did you feel there, when they got on their offensive role, did you feel like that caused you guys' as offense to get a little more? Hey, we got a match it. It added pressure to your offense. Mm, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say add pressure, but it probably sped us up a little bit. You know, in the back of our heads, we was like, we know that we got to get an answer for when they were scoring and couldn't really get an answer for every bucket that they had in the back end. So just got to clean up on that. In particular, when you were speeding up, I mean, did you feel that led to bad shots, quick shots? I mean, how would you describe it? Mm, not really bad shots, but we had too many turnovers. Just not being careful with the ball. Uh, Kevin McKay, he had a lot of steals versus uh, versus us, um, and missed rebounds, just little stuff like that. Did you notice on their end when they started hitting a, a confidence fail that looked like it made everything tougher on your when you were guys were playing offense? It, it right. fueled their defense. Right, exactly. They 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 started a momentum and they started to press, mm -hmm. and that's when they made us commit a couple turnovers, and then it was in their favor. So everything worked in their favor. What do you guys, I mean, can you talk a little bit about the locker room after this game? We feel like we dropped, a, dropped this game, dropped a couple games that we should have had. So we got to grow up, and right now it's back to the drawing board. We got to lock back in. How do you guys explain? I mean, you guys maintained and finished at Miami. You finished here at home before. I mean, it's the same team, same roster, same coaches. How do you explain how it happens correctly one night and then X amount of days later it happens like that? Just got to execute, just got to stay focused. Just because we pull it out one game don't mean we're going to pull the close one out the next one. So probably part of growing pains a little bit too. But like I said, we got to grow up and this Mac play. Nobody about to feel sorry for us. So we got to get back to the drawing board. Can you also talk a little bit about the turnovers and the they weren't pressing you guys to make turnovers. They were just kind of slowing you down. But it looked like it led to a lot of turnovers. Right, like I said, just careless with the ball. We had our people in our positions, and we know the um, plays we, that we're supposed to make. So just got to be more poised. And got to be more careful with the ball. Let me ask you one question, not about this game, but the 1968 team. I know uh, Coach Bob Hill came in and talked to you guys this morning. Uh, can you just explain that maybe the impact that he had and just maybe seeing the guys who were the last members of the team to make an NCAA tournament from BG? What was that whole experience like? It definitely had an impact on us just to hear him talk and give us some key advice of what worked for them, like teamwork and being able to trust each other on and off the court. And it wasn't even basketball stuff. You know, everything was off the court stuff. And of course, it was on the court stuff too, but it was a big impact just knowing that they got all that experience under their belt. I'm glad he came to share it with us. And having experienced that, when you see the 1968 banner, I know Coach Huger has noted it to, to us in the media. I mean, does it give you extra drive, extra incentive right. to see the guys in person? Yeah, yeah, it's very motivational. Definitely light the fire under us because that's where we want to get to. So we want to win a MAC championship and make the tournament.